My name is Rabbi Stroll, David Weiss of Nature Carter, Jews United Against Zionism. Uh, we've come to join, uh, show our sympathy, our support for the students of Kumi who have been uh, charged, uh, basically they're being charged with anti-Semitism. Uh, the, and the reason this charge is uh, holding is because people are equating Zionism with uh, with Judaism and we have to clarify it's really critical to understand that Jews and Muslims have been living with a distinctly different re religion for hundreds and hundreds of years when we as Jews have suffered in Europe we went through persecution uh, more than persecution we were, we were murdered there was throughout the hundreds of years it was the Muslim communities that actually took us in including in Palestine we were embraced we flourished we have uh, many of our constituents are living in Palestine we, for hundreds of years in the same courtyard the difference of religion is never an impediment of our co coexistence the uh, a movement started Zionism which is a is a totally uh, a transformation to nationalism to have a national home created by people who are nothing with the religion, it was simply a movement of, of uh, nationalists who are estranged from the religion. But they wanted to be sure that they should not have anybody opposing them or uh, somehow disqualifying their occupation of another people. So they're using the Star of David, the name Judaism, the religion, my religion, which is a 3,000 year old religion, for a movement that's a hundred odd years. And by doing so, they are intimidating and silencing people who are standing up for justice, for what is rightful. The people, these students, are eager, uh, they're fresh young people who are just starting their lives and they're not, uh, in, 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 not impeded by any type of other interest. So they're standing up for what's right. People call humane, we call godly. They're pleading for justice, for people who are being occupied, who are being killed senselessly, uh, 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 horrific murders and oppression that if it would be in any normal circumstance, nobody would accept this. My grandparents were killed in Auschwitz. My father escaped. And I could never understand for so many years that the world was silent. How could they witness this? But it seems that it's a satanic issue that sometimes people become blinded. They're intimidated here. People, when they want to speak up, they know they can move their whole, they can lose their whole life's ambitions by speaking up for the people of Palestine. They'll be accused of being anti-Semitic, and they'll have to their whole lives answer for that. We have to stand up and say, uh, because I am Jewish, we are here to say, to stand up in opposition to an occupation of a people that are really victims. They are, they are, they are, uh, they are not the villains. They are victims of a people who want to have a national, ambitious, uh, flawed, selfish goal of taking the land away of another people. The rabbis in Palestine in the, in, in, stood up and pleaded with the United Nations in 1947. It's a United Nations document. Rabbi Dushinsky was the leader of the Jewish community that was residing for hundreds of years in Palestine said, we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine and tens of thousands of Jews and hundreds of thousands are living in Palestine around the world, right across from Manhattan, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, the most largest, the largest concentration of Jewish youth, uh, uh, Jewish community that's true to the religion. We give our lives for our religion, we pay for private education, it costs us fortunes, it's very hard, yet this community doesn't have one Israeli flag. If it would be critical for the Jewish people to have a state, they would be the first to be supporting this. Yet they're against this. Why? Because Zionism calls for rebellion against God, to kill, to occupy, to steal. And ironically, Jews aren't even permitted to have their own state. So we are standing here and pleading with the press, pleading with the, with the political leaders, pleading with the heads of universities. All these people were granted a blessing of God that they were able to accomplish uh, more than the average citizen. Please stand up and you should be able to answer to God for, for what, what you did with your lofty positions. Save the people of Gaza. Do not, uh, uh, do not get any records. Clear the the, char the Kuni students of any charge that th they should be lauded, and the professors, the heads of the university, should be standing behind them and encouraging them that we, we what we, they're doing is godly. What they're doing is to save human beings, children, old people, humanity, men, women, children. Save
save them. And the Jewish people, ironically, who are standing in Jerusalem, tens of thousands, are arrested because they refuse to serve in the army. They are brutally beaten simply because we don't carry guns. Nobody accuses us of being terrorists. They're standing on the streets and pleading. We don't want this occupation that they're getting brutally beaten and attacked for 76 years. This has nothing to do with an October 7th. This has to do with an ongoing um, uh, 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 oppression of a people that exploded in the, um, October 7th, possibly. But it, if you, you turn around, you should say, what is the cause? Why is there so much death of Palestinians and Jews? What is exacerbating anti-Semitism and occupation oppression of people by attacking the ones who are screaming, who are yelling and pleading with the world, SOS, save our souls, you, you're attacking them, then you think you're going to bring peace by stifling the voice of justice, of righteousness, you're only going to be uh, compounding the pressure and that there should be further death and bloodshed. On top of that, the abuse and the misuse of the word anti-Semitism makes it the word it nullifies the value of anti-Semitism. As I said, my grandparents were killed in Auschwitz as the majority of my family in Hungary and Poland. We knew that it, 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 the, word, the world took up this issue and they said we cannot allow racism, anti-Semitism happen. So, so they, they took that word and they used it as a red light that people should be careful not to let people who are, as I say, um, uh, anti-human beings racists, anti-Semites to speak up. But when you take that word anti-Semitism and you use it as a weapon to silence people who are standing up for justice and righteousness, when people are being killed and murdered already 11 months, then you you're making that word wor worthless. And if anybody will stand up tomorrow and say when somebody is really doing something anti-Semitic and they're going to say anti-Semitism, people are going to laugh and say, ah, it's the boy who cried wolf. Please, we are urging you, stand up, speak up, and say, and, and the heads of the university, Cooney, please, God gave you a lofty position. Do not abuse it. See that the charges should be dropped against the students of Cooney who spoke up for Palestine and, and re realize it's a, it's a Zionist uh, narrative that they're using two weapons. The, the weapon that it's calling it a religion when this is not a religion conflict, and the second weapon they're using is the word anti-Semitism. Do not play into their arms. God should help. We should see, it's coming the Rosh Hashanah, the new year, in a few weeks now. We should see to this year as we pray in our prayers 